There's only one way to end a show like this. There's only one thing in the world that can follow that. As I said earlier, Cam and Weinshank, absolute courageous warriors for writing a new minute every single week at the very beginning of their careers. This young man you're about to see right now has been a regular longer than anybody has ever been a regular in the history of the show. We've watched him run the gambit from being a relatively unknown comedian from Memphis, Tennessee, to currently opening for Joe Rogan and Tony Hinchcliffe and other great comedians. Ladies and gentlemen, headlining his own shows now, doing his own stuff, a monster, the only man that could close this show. It's the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody. Wow, here he is, live in the flesh. The real deal, the vanilla gorilla. Bang, bang, bang. That's what Nicole Tran and I were doing in her hotel room last night. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicole Tran, everybody. Everything costing less in Austin. Bang, 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 bang. At this point, I'm not sure if Wes Anderson is making new films. Pretty sure he's just splicing together deleted scenes. And also, Wes Anderson, can I be in one of those deleted scenes? <laughs> what does it take? I look interesting. I can dress funky and listen to the kinks in the Velvet Underground and be casually racist. It can't be that hard. <laughs> just have me say something neurotic and pseudo-intellectual and God damn it, Wes Anderson, I'm right here. I cost 8% 8, 8 of Adium Brody. God damn it, I screwed that part up. <laughs> I cost 8% of Adrian. Oh, man. Adrian Brody's salary. <laughs> Let me on a deleted scene. I'm in love with my sister and play tennis and slice my wrists. I'll make documentary films in the ocean. I ride a train and work at a hotel and can be Claymation Fox. I don't give a shit. Man, y'all really don't know who Wes Anderson is. This yeah. was a fucking wow. horrible nightmare. Oh, my God. But on a serious note, did they ever find that plane from Lost? <laughs> wow. Wow. This is an interesting one. Uh, really committed to the Wes Anderson thing tonight. I did. I was gambling on the fact that these fucking people knew who that was. And uh -uh. if you knew who that was, it was hilarious. So I don't really know what happened here tonight. No. Wes Anderson doesn't really fly in Texas, dude. They block that shit here. Uh this is, more of a, this is more of a Robert Rodriguez territory. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was a bad mistake. I want to apologize to y'all. It was a bad choice on my part. It will never happen again. So, Is this what happened? I'm guessing this week you saw the new Wes Anderson movie and decided uh, to really uh, go down this rabbit hole? Thought I would go down the fucking rabbit hole, and it turned into a bad mistake. There's a fruit fly right in front of your face right now that... <laughs> I am to... just trying not to look at it. It's scaring me to death. It's right it's, in front of my it's face. Really, it it might is be... fucking scaring me to death. It might, be a, it might be a new camera Wes Anderson's trying to use. Uh... I mean, what am I supposed to do? That thing was right in my face. It thinks it you're really... a Clementine. <laughs> <laughs> it really likes you. It's really, uh, really close to you. Did I know, you that's eat... funny. I do want to think. Uh... Did you eat some fruit today? No, I actually ate some Chick-fil-A. I want to thank a Nate F. He brought me two Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Um, you didn't see earlier the guy that talked about Chick-fil-A? Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> you wanted to thank somebody? Uh, I want to thank Nate F. He brought me two uh, sandwiches. Oh. Hold the pickles. Oh, yeah. We found out last week, famously, that William does not like pickles. The crowd went into a frenzy booing him. We've never seen... Uh, a thing before, but uh, that type of energy towards William. But it turns out uh, people are pro pickles here. They are, yeah. It didn't have the pickles, and it's a damn good fucking thing. It didn't have the pickles because I hate those fucking things. Oh, wow. Look at this audience. Strangely, also anti pickles. 
Yeah, I mean, what's the fucking deal with pickles? I hate those fucking things. My goodness. Wow. Look at this. Maybe you should have done maybe you should have done your Wes Anderson jokes last week and the pickled material this week. Yeah, I mean, seriously, what's the deal with fucking pickles? They're awful. They taste weird. Tell us more about your hatred for pickles. I don't know. I think it was since I was a little boy, uh, I was forced to drink pickle juice. Is that true? Who forced you to do that? Uh, the guy named Emmy who used to clean up our yard. Named what? He drank pickle juice all the time, and I started drinking it with him. And wow, He pulled a- it out of his pants. He was like, yeah, this is pickle juice. <laughs> Yeah, I was sucking in his dick. It's You're be right. It's going to a little salty and sour, and it's pickle juice. Yeah, I was sucking Emmy's dick. You figured it out. God. You figured that one out. Wow. He looks like I used a- to suck a guy's dick. You fucking found me out. Tell us more. I used to love it! I don't know how many of y'all suck dick, but it's great! I had to stop! Yeah, I stopped like five years ago. I had to stop. You stopped sucking people's penises. Yeah, I was really getting in the way of uh, my relationship. So... (laughs) Yeah, it got really weird for some reason, but yeah, I couldn't stop sucking people's dick that I was meeting online. I was meeting them on Craigslist, and... Was in a real healthy, happy relationship, and once that was found out, it was kind of a nightmare. I got broken up with. Um, Do you have any special techniques that you use while giving a blowjob? I can't imagine what getting a blowjob from a manly man like yourself is like. Even D Madness is uh, is is bothered by this, and he doesn't even know what you look like. He just knows what you sound like. <laughs> you look like it gave up. <laughs> My God. Roast the Battle boss, Kim Congdon, in the house. No, but D-Madness, I'm a very fit, uh, white, right. redhead. William, young... William, don't go near him. Don't go near him. Super fit. Did you uh, have any special techniques while giving blowjobs? I'm interested to know if you get... Uh, if you I have... mainly just put my hands behind my back. Oh, look at that. That's why they call that the William Montgomery. I always yeah, it is. I always When you put your hands behind your back... <laughs> It's called the William Montgomery. Y'all remember that one. What do you like lock your hands behind your back or you do it sort of like a Houdini straight jacket style? I would put handcuffs on. Wow. You would put them on yourself. Yes, yes. And then and then how would you get out of them? Uh sometimes I wouldn't. <laughs> sometimes right. I wouldn't. I was at a fucking red roof inn in Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> And I was literally trapped in the fucking Red Roof Inn in Arizona for, I don't know, 36 hours. I couldn't fucking get out. I was starving. What'd you end up doing? I eventually got out. A lady came to clean up the room, and I was in there naked, handcuffed, very emaciated looking. Wait, you get get naked for the blowjobs that you give? Yeah, you have to. Wait... Wait, what do you mean you have to? I'm a I little... mean, you have to. Those were always the rules I was going by. Would you sometimes give these blowjobs with your butthole? I don't know what you're getting at with that question. Would, would you sometimes use things other than your mouth to pleasure another man? Why are you shaking your fucking head yes, Red Band? Why does, the fuck are you doing that? He does. That's... Red Band seems to... Yeah, he's seen it. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Yeah. You have seen it one time. Shut the fuck up, Red Band. <laughs> Seriously, shut up. Do you like I've been ki- having a good time tonight, and then you're about to fucking say, you have seen it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you're being mean. This is, this is like Louis C.K. defending himself. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Boom. God, you got to fucking stop that. Boom. Grand slams over here. Kim Congdon. William, do you like cucumbers? Do what? Do you like cucumbers? Why do you ask that? Why do you ask that? Well, I mean, you don't like pickles. What a dumbass question. Why'd you just fucking ask me that? (laughs) (laughs) 
William, you're such a legend. It's incredible how quickly you can improvise and bring energy. Meanwhile, you went with that weird Wes Anderson set tonight. It's crazy. You can literally make anything funny, and you're like, this is what's going on the paper. I made a fucking mistake. I made a fucking mistake. I already apologized to y'all about it. I already said I'm sorry. How many fucking times do I have to say I'm sorry? How many, seriously, how many times do I have to fucking say I'm sorry? Maybe if you scream it, it'll get through. How many fucking times do I have to say I'm sorry? Ladies and gentlemen, that's William Montgomery, and that's another episode of Kill Tony. This is the big red machine, William Montgomery. (laughs) There he is, live in the flesh. After a very successful weekend at Skankfest, he has arrived back home to Austin, Texas. This is William Montgomery. Hello, my name is William Montgomery, and my pronouns are those and under. Does anybody know if milky discharge from your penis is a coronavirus symptom? (laughs) ESPN is desperate for content. Last night I watched a show, the very best of the Houston Astros. It lasted a minute and a half. I'm gender fluid. When it's time to cook dinner, I identify as male. When it's time to mow the lawn, I identify as female. And then this final uh, joke, I said it during one of the skank fests, but it's a rare true story joke for me. Uh, Was talking with my father Larry earlier and told him I ate some Indian food last night and he responded, what, like deer meat? I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, Papa? Deer meat? I'm not talking about fucking Native American food. I've never even heard of that. But deer meat, I'm sure, I mean, that sounds like Native American food, but it just shocked me. William Montgomery, everybody, I do believe. Wow. One of my favorite jokes ever, maybe, Tony. Yeah, definitely favorite joke of, uh, that I've heard in a while. That gender fluid is absolutely hilarious, William. You've done it again. You've uh, shown everybody exactly how it's done. I am sure that uh, the people that have been called out of here have, are in the back taking notes. Lexi E. Has, is probably back there taking notes. Um, you know who else is probably back there taking notes? Is Eye Power, everybody. Uh blatantly the thing that I power everyone it would have been a great moment but there you go there, there it is there it is right on cue where is I power I'm uh, I'm a little worried about him yeah okay did you see his performance here tonight William I did not okay all good did you have fun at Skankfest? I did. I actually uh, ended up making a ton of money there, and I got a little uh, little cosmetic thing done with me. I got some new nails while I what was the there. F- Whoa. <laughs> what? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What the fuck are those, dude? Yeah, it cost me 500 fucking dollars. Are you serious? <laughs> Holy shit. It cost me 500 fucking bucks. Now I can't fucking pee. I can't unzip my zipper. I can't open up a bag of salad. I can't even open up the fridge. I can't even get to the bag of salad. I can't even open up the fucking fridge. It was such a horrible mistake to get these implanted onto my fingers. It was $500. That is a great excuse to not eat Fucking $500 I spent on this shit. I can't ring the fucking doorbell. Can't open up a fucking Butterfinger! What made you do that? Why would you spend 500 hard-earned dollars on what appears to be press-on nails? I don't know. I was thinking a cosmetic change that I would like to make with it and, uh, with myself. I have always been self-conscious about my fingernails. So I thought spending $500 on some new nails would 
be a good idea and it's turned out that it's not, I can't climb in fucking trees anymore. Tony, uh, the last kill, Tony, a lot of people don't know this yet, but a lot of people well, called out his nails. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it's going to be in chronological order either. I think it's just going to be, that, it's going to look like that's going to be the callback to this, I think, the, the way that this is probably going to go. I don't know. Yeah, I do. You really just fucked that one up, Red Band. I feel like this was <laughs> going pretty good. Then you mentioned that shit. Why'd you do that? Well, because at the festival, everyone started making fun of your nails. Like, throughout the whole festival, people were, like, pointing at his nails because he had really weird Coke nails. And this No, I don't. A little bit of something. No, I don't. A little bit of something. Why'd you have to bring that up, right, man? I thought you fucking said you weren't going to bring that shit up. <laughs> you know I'm self-conscious about my fucking nails, Red Band. For those of you that don't know, Red Band, or, uh, William uh, stopped drinking about four months ago and became addicted to raisin bread. Uh, William, every week we ask him. I can't get enough of it. How much raisin bread? Give these I people, can't get enough of it. Give these people an example, uh, William. Uh, uh, how much raisin bread have you had since the last episode on Monday, last Monday? In one week, how many lobes do you think you've had? Since Saturday, I've had three. Since Saturday? Yep. That's, that's more than I a can't get today. enough of it. And it started shit trying to put the fucking butter on it with these goddamn dumbass nails I bought for 500 fucking dollars. I don't have 500 bucks at the moment. I had to go to a fucking loan place. <laughs> William, I don't think I've ever asked you this. What's your favorite thing about raisin bread? Why do you love it so much? What part of the raisin bread is it that you love? Why raisin Man, bread? Man, what a hard question. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I've never really thought about it. I, th uh, I think you're going to probably nail the answer. So, uh, um, <laughs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Michael's the only one that caught that one. I like it. Oh, my fingernails. It's good when... <laughs> it's always good when only the that drummer That went over laughs. my head as well. I didn't understand. Sometimes it's good to only make the drummer laugh. You know, they work hard back there. <laughs> Look at those fucking shiny, big-ass nails. I'm telling you, they look like $600 nails, bro. Do they really? Yeah, they really do. It's beautiful. Cool. It's really beautiful. Wise investment. How long are those? Yeah, I thought 500 fucking... What do you mean, wise investment? I think it's a good... I said that. I said wise investment. Uh, how long do you think those are going to uh, last for? He really uh, doesn't like No, you. he's so catty. <laughs> and like with those nails, he's extra catty. He's like, who said that? Like, like... God, oh, shut God. up, Brad, Shut up, Red Man. No. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Why don't you go eat some raisin bread, bitch? Okay, Whoa. bitch. Okay, bitch, I might. For those of you that don't know, you Red Man is addicted to regular bread, so this is quite a great <laughs> Yeah, rivalry. less calories. What do you mean it's less fucking calories? Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? True. Raisins have calories, bitch. Okay, okay bitch. Okay, Red Man. Thank you so much. Okay, you bitch. <laughs> You're riling William up. <laughs> God, everybody everybody likes bitch. a happy William. So well, what? I have been r real happy lately about these fingernails. I really do think it was a wise uh, choice for me. I regret nothing. Did they say how long they're going to last for? Uh, two years. Wow. <laughs> Damn, that's deep, dude. All of a sudden, 500 doesn't seem like that much. <laughs> yeah, like, not at all. Yeah, it's like 10 bucks a month. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't, really I didn't think about it like that. <laughs> I didn't really do the math on that at all. Right. So don't hold that one against me. Uh, might be 20? I don't know. I still can't even remember what we were talking about. <laughs> so wow, two years. And then what, do you think you're going to do it again? I don't know. Who's fucking uh, planning a pipe bomb up there? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was that? This place is chaos. Austin knows how to party, man. Sold out shows every single week here in Austin, Texas. Since we got here. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw my new Vulcan Gas Company jumpsuit, by the way. But, uh, this hey, is that real... looks familiar. Can we see the back of it, Tony? Yeah, it's, uh... I mean, it's, it looks like it says something else with a bunch of patches all over it. Yeah, no, it's the real deal. That's a real Vulcan Gas Company fucking uh, <laughs> jumpsuit right there. 
Uh, William, you're just unbelievable. Is there anything else you want to talk about before we end this thing? So, uh, I don't know how weird this is going to be specifically to you, Red Band. I don't know. It shouldn't be. I don't think it is going to be, but I I am... I think it is going to be, actually. I'm just reading your energies. I have no (laughs) idea what you're going to say, but it seems like it's going to be super fucking weird. I have uh, started doing a podcast. We filmed four or five episodes. We're going to try to release it the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Oh, that's great. Okay. Where, where will people be able to find it? What's it called? What are you doing with it? Where's it it's at? It's a website called theswamps.com. It, uh, no, I'm kidding. I don't know. Okay, that's well, it. when stupid. you plug things, that's when the joke would stop for just a <laughs> moment. Do you know what it's called? The, thing the William doing? Montgomery Show. Oh, wow. That sounds great. Everybody loves William. So keep an eye out for that. Of course, you have a uh, you have an amazing legion of fans that have uh, found you. Um, even D Madness is going to keep his eyes Thank open. Thank you so much. I'm sure you're going to do really good, man. I'm sure you're going to do really good. It, it's great that D Madness uh, is, is <laughs> nobody has eye power like D Madness. <laughs> I power. It's actually, I guess you guys don't know, it's spelled E Y E. That's why it's. <laughs> All right. William, we Cool. Love I you. feel like I could have plugged the, my new podcast in a much better way. I feel like that was a horrible downer. It was good. The William Montgomery Show coming soon everywhere Thank uh, you. podcasts are available. There's William Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> this is the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It really is him. The real William Montgomery. I uh, I had to pay Tony $25 to say all that. So I mean this fucking guy has set every single record. The crowd goes absolutely wild. He's coming off of a skank fest in which he got the pop bigger a lot of people say he got bigger pops than Bob Saget at that festival. I swear if Taylor Swift writes another breakup song about us, I'm gonna fucking lose it. I'm serious, two two songs was the limit, now three, Taylor, get over me already. Look, I didn't want to say anything, but Taylor used to do blackface in the bedroom. (laughs) Granted, it was my fetish, but she was into it. Uh, My dad is a hell of a lawyer. He actually successfully sued Dr. Mario for malpractice. If Rittenhouse was black, he'd already have a mural painted in his honor. (laughs) All right, that's it. Thank you. William Montgomery does it again. The Big Red Machine, the Vanilla Gorilla, the Memphis Madman. the The Memphis Madman. The Tennessee Tickler. The Tennessee Tickler. Many more nicknames you have, am I correct? What are some more nicknames of yours, William? Uh, The Strawberry Twist. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, the Strawberry Twist. People always used to call me that. It's uh, it's actually very endearing, so. Yeah, the Raisin Bread Kid. The Raisin Bread Kid. People call me that. I'm, uh, I'm still fully addicted to fucking Raisin Bread. I can't fucking for those stop that, eating it. For those of you that might not know, he got sober a few months ago and became addicted instead of, to Raisin Bread. Yeah, I, uh, I can't get enough of it most of the fucking time. I fucking dream about it at night. These are the types of answers. This is what I was expecting Sam Hunter. I can't say. get enough of it. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. 
That was kind of a fun one. Yeah. That one really hurt my you voice, really, though. You really got into that. Ooh, that one hurt my throat a little bit. That was interesting. The way what they- are you all talking about? <laughs> that really hurts my throat. Wow. What's going on here? Oh, shit. God, that is killing my throat. Man, you know how to work the room, dude. Cody! <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Up here just fucking murdering. You have the microphone pressed against your nose wow. right now. Yeah, I got I, high I, as shit right before this. It was a horrible fucking mistake. I literally am horribly on edge right now. What happened? You had to go to the bathroom? I had to go to the bathroom. Uh, somebody <laughs> had a joint. I smoked some of the joint. I immediately started thinking about the unlicensed firearm I still currently have in my fucking trunk. <laughs> I have an unlicensed firearm in my fucking truck, and I might shoot someone tonight. Oh, shit, dude. I've had enough. Oh, shit. I've had enough. Where'd you get, where'd you get, the, fi- where, where'd you get the firearm from? I've bought it from this man under a bridge <laughs> for $1,500 fucking dollars. It seemed very expensive. That's a lot for a gun. Yeah, Where'd- 1500 fucking dollars for a little black pistol. Wow, where'd you get uh, where'd you get fifteen hundred dollars from? God, I had to fucking take it from somebody. I've been going to the goddamn CVS recently. I swear to God, I've been losing it recently. I go in the fucking CVS and steal a bunch of shit. <laughs> then I sell it to some dude under a bridge. You sell another stuff? guy under yeah, the bridge? Yeah, another different... guy under a fucking bridge. Is it the same bridge? No, it's a different fucking bridge. What do you mean? Is it the same bridge? What the fuck are you talking about? How could it be the same bridge? It could. You think I'm going to the same fucking bridge? You think I'm going to the same fucking bridge every day? It seems like you would. I go to two bridges every fucking day, Red Band. I go to fucking two of them. I can't get enough of them. I hang out in them now. You ever get raisin bread under the bridge? Yes, sometimes. And how how does that make you feel? Really good. You actually can put it on the hot concrete for a while, and it warms it up. Very nice. You, Normally, there's a bunch of buddies down there. It's fun. It's nice. Do you love that shit at all? Yeah, I love that shit. All right. Okay. Warm- I fucking love being under the bridge with my friends, stealing a bunch of shit from CVS, heating up raisin bread on the asphalt. It's been a really bad week. I've. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's been a really bad week. Yeah, I'm go. Tell us about your week, William. Why has it been a bad week? I can't get out of the fucking bed. Why not? I sleep till six, seven at night. Jesus. Oh my god! Wow, are you a little bit depressed? Yeah, I mean it's really bad right now. I've, I've, I almost got caught at the CVS recently. I had to call my dad. He's like, William, you're going to be looking at jail time. What's your Venmo so that people that don't want you to steal from CBS can donate money to you? Do you know what your I Venmo is? I don't know is? what it is. You don't even know what your Venmo is. Yeah. Well, William, a marketing machine, William Montgomery. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's William. wrong with you, dude? Oh, William Montgomery? Is that it? <laughs> is it William Montgomery 1, perhaps? No, I think it's like William.Montgomery.16. Wow, perfect. Nothing better than having a password for your... Yeah. Uh, Venmo name. <laughs> what, now, what happened to your beautiful nails? You had really nice, beautiful nails last week. You've been doing, you know, working on your nails. Yeah, I had to uh, get them removed. Why? They were really expensive. How much were those? They were fifteen hundred dollars. Wait, wait, wait. No, William. No, that's the number of the gun. No, they were fifteen hundred bucks. It seemed like they were super expensive. I mean, it was the fucking guy under the bridge. There's another guy. Wait, you had a guy do press? Yeah, on third nails? bridge. And it was not a press on situation. It was a surgical. He put me under. I was fully under anesthesia. It, it scared me a little bit because we were literally. Does somebody want to shut the fuck up? I'm having the fucking set of my life. There is a young lady yelling from the audience. One of these Austin girls with the Gary Clark Jr. hat. 
Everyone trying to fit in. Everybody goes to the same hat shop on Congress and thinks they're original. I love it. Yeah, I mean, you're really going to have to shut the fuck up. We're trying to have fun up here, and then you really fucking derail it with that. You really derailed it. It what seemed like we yell? were having a bunch what of fun. What did you yell, young lady? Come on, let us know. Yell it again. It's okay. Don't be afraid. Do you have your organs? Do I have my organs? What the fuck does that mean, bitch? Because of the surgery. The fuck do you think, bitch? Hold on. She's with a little Mexican boy that's about to yell something right now. This guy's in way over his head. This, this woman is Russian. And she thought when you got put out, they stole your organs also. Just uh, fucking someone get her out of here! Oh, okay. Someone get her out of here now! No, we're not. I've had a bad her. week! We're not gonna kick her out. Seriously, if you could only see me throughout this past week, it was nightmarish. I couldn't get out of the bed until don't seven scare or the eight. guest, William. Don't scare you don't look right in her eyes like that and tell her how <laughs> deeply unhappy you are. I want these people to t- tell their friends good things about the show. I don't want her, I don't want her to go back to the uh, Austin comedians and say there's a guy with an unlicensed gun that's having a bad week <laughs> over at Kill Tony. Ariel, have you seen William before? Do you know the type of monstrosity that we're dealing with here? This guy was built in a comedic laboratory. I know. I mean, I honestly, like, my favorite Austin pastime is talking to crazy homeless people anyway, so this is fine. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple really good bridges here. What are your favorite bridges? Can you name some of the streets where the bridges are near? There's one on uh, South Congress and 18th. Oh, okay. Okay. There's definitely not a bridge there. There is one on... And that would most likely, I do believe, be North Congress if my uh, local geography doesn't... uh... There's a really good one on Arizona and Grant. Ooh. Is anybody... Can anybody confirm this one? Uh, There's a really good one on Uh, Magnolia and 32nd. Magnolia and 32nd. I would go lower numbers, William. William, spoiler alert. You want to really go low on your numbers here. There is one on Anderson and third. There is one on Michael and Grant. You're just naming former classmates at this point. (laughs) 35. How did you guess that? How did you guess that? (laughs) Whoa. How did you guess that? Because I'm the man, dude. Yeah, I was thinking about old classmates. And, uh, 35 and Philip. Yes, good old Philip Street, one of the busier streets here in Austin. Traffic barely moves on Philip Street. I don't know if you've been around there. Lots of businesses and landmarks. Uh, at Dillard and uh, Magnolia, it's a oh, really good one there. Magnolia again, famously a wow. street in Burbank, California. Yeah. Not at all, I do believe, in us. Yeah, Is Dillard and Magnolia. No. Nope, nowhere. Literally not a street in the city. Yeah. You could really almost say anything except for Magnolia, and we would have been like, there's probably a bridge there. Yeah, the one at Dillard and Magnolia is <laughs> Do you really get blowjobs underneath any of these Shut bridges? Shut the fuck up right yeah. now. red band. Come on, dude. We're I'm, trying to have fun up here tonight. Well, yeah. Can you fucking derail I'm it with, with that William shit? On this one. He, he likes blowjobs. He likes. You have to blow- fucking stop. Oh, you have to stop over. doing that oh, shit. Oh shit! He's never been oh. this close before. I know. He's trying to yeah, give me you a blowjob. Stop doing that shit. He's been on the show for years. He's never been this close I know. to physically assaulting Red it's, Band. I got too close. Wow! Yeah, Ooh. shut the oh fuck up, dude. Oh! Look you gotta close. shut up, Red Band. Oh, what are you gonna do? Suck my dick? Shut <laughs> Red band. That's so weird. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> I love baiting of Michael Gonzalez says he doesn't think you'll do it. I don't do you want to watch? Wow. Make some noise if you want to watch. Oh, my goodness. God. Come over here, little William. <laughs> oh Come on, Bill. Goodness. Get over here, Bill. Shut the fuck up. Wow. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Red He's Band. He's never I don't know gotten how a blowjob from a redhead this. before. However, he did once fuck a plate of spaghetti. So, yeah. Red Band, <laughs> the wild airline. sex life. <laughs> William, you are a fucking guru, a genius. I mean, nice you're just to be the here. best Thank ever. You. 
He has a brand new podcast coming out soon called The William Montgomery, William Montgomery Show. Show. Follow him closely. He's a star, everybody. A brand new minute every single week. Uh, Miss Amy O actually taught me how to masturbate two weeks ago. I swear, masturbation, gay or straight, learn to masturbate. How can you hate when you masturbate? You know why I'm always late? Because I masturbate every Monday before I get on I-35. I currently have a hemorrhoid. I'd show y'all, but Instagram keeps taking the picture down. I really do have a hemorrhoid and my girlfriend was about to put ointment on it and I turned around in time to see what she was doing and I was like, bitch, you better take that glove off. (laughs) Funny how when Trump was president, we wanted to defund the police. Now Biden's in office and we want to put people in jail. (laughs) I recently watched Lost in Translation for the 12th time. I still can't speak Japanese. I call my Mormon side chick Nerf because she's a super soaker. I'm looking into getting a Discover card so no one I've ever met. What do all of y'all have Discover cards? I thought that was going to go much better. Okay, that's my time. William Montgomery. How are you, Tony? I'm good. Good to see you again, sir. You're actually looking a little bit slimmer. Are you losing weight? Yeah, I actually, uh, the hemorrhoid thing is true. <laughs> I've, uh, wow. I think it's because all that fucking bread I've been eating. I sit on the fucking toilet for like 45 minutes at a fucking time. I can't do to. I'm straining is that the what whole happens time. When you have hemorrhoids, you can't go number twosies. Yeah, I think I was sitting on the toilet literally for 45 fucking minutes every time I was on the toilet, just pushing real hard, and it formed a hemorrhoid. Oh my goodness! So what? What are we talking about? It's it's like on your butthole or in it? Or Internal, does... external. It is halfway in and out. I thought Whoa. I had a fucking. I thought I had a fucking tumor, but it turns out. Oh shit. I looked up hemorrhoids on the internet, and I could immediately tell it was a hemorrhoid. Wow. It looked just like the pictures I was looking at. Oh, my God. How did you get to see a picture of it? Did you take a... Did you take a... No, I can bend over and look in the mirror. Wow, really? You made it through that cavernous red asshole of yours? I did. I have to really spread it open, but I'm able to. I'm able to bend down and look at it. I look at my butt hole. It's like one of Christmas plants down there or something like that. A bunch of red leafy. It is. It's real red down there. All right. Real red down there. So how do you treat that hemorrhoid? I have been uh, getting my girlfriend to put ointment on it nightly. Why are you having her do that, poor lady? What do you think? I'm supposed to fucking Yeah, you do put that it on your finger, you push you it back in. About? Red like, Band actually knows about this because yeah. he's been unhealthy much longer yeah. than you. <laughs> <laughs> Did it pop? No, it hasn't popped yet. It's going to pop? Is that what happens? That's what Red Band was telling me. Jesus I don't know. Jesus Christ. You guys are fucking disgusting, it's your man. <laughs> you ma- man period. Once a month or two so. That's how often you get those? No, I like every two months, but. Oh, oh, my Ari, God. Ari, Ari, Ari Shafir gets it, like, every week, and it's pretty bad. All right, well, Yuck. I don't know. So I've been having to start, I've been drinking a bunch of prune juice, and that works really good. Wow. That doesn't seem like it's, that does good. So it, how did you lose Yeah, it does weight. fucking do good. What do you mean it doesn't seem Do, like does it doesn't? Doesn't prune juice, like, make it hard? Okay, forget it. No one wants to picture you guys shitting, all right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Save it for the green room after the show. <laughs> How does it appear that you're losing weight, though, or am I just wrong? I don't know. I mean, I've literally been been spraying shit out of my ass for the past week and a half now. Week, week and a half. I think it's good for you. I know. I'm thinking I'm just going to keep doing that and <laughs> keep on trying to lose some weight. I think I might try to start some sort of a diet thing where you Wait, just do type, a bunch. What type of diet are you thinking? Just stool softeners, prune juice... Raisin bran. I've been eating raisin bran a bunch. Wow. A bunch of stool softeners, That's these real. little red pills. 
That's really good. I know. It's pretty exciting. I literally couldn't shit for like two days, and it scared me to death. I was thinking my insides were going to rupture, and I ate some stool softeners and was drinking the prune juice and eating raisin bran. Okay, and it came okay, out. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Is it, are you joking about your girlfriend applying the ointment, or is she really doing that? No, she's very sweet. She, I will bend over, and she will stick her hand in there. I literally made her take the glove off. It creeped me out, her wearing no. a glove. Are you serious? Yeah, I made her take it off. It seemed like, I don't know, it weirded me out. Wow. Holy shit. You prefer no glove? I prefer just skin to skin. I don't want... I could ask. That's something that you can do by yourself, right? Yes. But you just poor lady. prefer someone else to do it? Or? Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying oh. to do that. Oh, okay. I <laughs> just want to clear that up. You just look tr- at it. You just put your head between your legs and look at it. I will. Yeah. Very just, interesting. Yeah, that's what I've been doing a lot this week. Just a lot of butthole stuff. <laughs> wow. Seems like that would take up most of my time if I was in your situation as well. It has. It's weird. It literally takes up the majority of my day every day, the past yeah. week. That's incredible. Just looking at my butt, it sitting on the toilet, drinking prune juice. That shit's fucking expensive. Hell yeah. You're living a life of luxury over there. <laughs> oh, my God. You're looking at your butthole a few hours a day? I'd you're, say you're, 30 are you, minutes. Are, are you I'd binge watching your own asshole? I'd say 30 minutes a day I'm looking at it. Wow. That's absolutely incredible. Well, I sort of can't fucking stop now. <laughs> I have pretty much gotten fucking addicted at looking at my own fucking asshole. Seems like... I can't fucking stop! <laughs> very, very I love how my asshole looks! Very passionate. Very passionate about it. What if someone told you that you had to stop doing it? What would you say to them? What are you fucking saying to me right now? I have to stop looking at my fucking hole because you're fucking telling me to stop? I'm not going to fucking stop. You really think I'm going to stop looking at my asshole just because you're telling me to? The fuck are you talking about? I got to keep looking at my asshole. I don't care anymore. I love you! All right, well, uh... That almost made me have to start shitting again. I had to stop. Woo! No one's got more passion up here than you. Tell us more about the, this podcast you have coming out. When is that? What is that? On Wednesday. It's the first episode. This it's, Wednesday. Uh, the William Montgomery Show. Yeah, please watch it. The William Montgomery Show. We'll see, uh... How it goes, I mean, quite frankly, it is a bunch of just butthole stuff. Um, Oh, wow. It's pretty much me talking about my hole the entire fucking time. So I'm praying to God people like it, people keep watching it. I just hope they don't get tired of it. I'm a little worried it could end up becoming tiresome, so. My goodness. Well, I guess we did it again. This has been another episode of Kill Tony. I'm going to hand for the great William Montgomery, everybody. This is the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody. A brand new minute from the great William Montgomery. I recently took my son to the gun show. He could barely clench my muscles. Y'all know that scene in The Godfather when the guy wakes up next to a horse's head? Was that a real horse? I've started chaperoning proms across the country. Normally my favorite part is when the DJ plays Adam's song by Blink-182. I'm kidding, I actually just work at a Chuck E. Cheese and play Adam's song when I clean up at night. Probably one of the hardest things about being in high school is pretending you like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I'm kidding. I'm actually just trying to form a bond with my high school age co-workers at Chuck E. Cheese, and they all really like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. You've heard of Mr. Steal Your Girl? I'm more like Colonel Abduct Your Baby Mama. Okay, that's all I got. William Montgomery. 
Joke, 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 joke. How are you? Absolutely great. Good to see you, sir. Nice to see you, too. How's it going? I love that. Things are really actually looking up. I was kind of down last week. I just downloaded uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Oh. And I've played it 16 hours in the past two days, I would guess. I fucking love it. Just riding around with the fucking my gang members, just shooting everyone. Are you playing in the storyline version or the live online live? I'm playing the storyline. Okay. Yeah, just getting in my fucking car that I've modded out just with my gang members, just now, fucking oh. shooting everyone. You've joined a gang on the, on the game? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty much the head of a gang. Uh, oh, shit. What? It's really exciting. We just fucking all pile up in the car and fucking just start shooting people. What types of people are in your gang? Is there a specific ethnicity? It's mainly African Americans. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty much the head. And I'm you're pretty, the leader of this? Yeah, I'm the leader of the gang. It's How? like all these black guys, like all these really tough black guys. I'm getting a tattoo later tonight, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've saved up enough money where I can get a tattoo tonight, so I'm going to do that immediately after what, this. I'm what, gonna are you just, gonna get a, what are you going to get a tattoo of? I don't know. I think a big weed leaf on my chest, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm really excited. I might get a gold chain. I noticed a gold chain in one of the stores last night. I didn't have enough money. I think I'm going to buy that when I get back to my house. I think I'm going to get it. I mean, it is, it's a lot of work being the head of this gang. It really is. There's all these people I have to keep up with. It's kind of a fucking nightmare some of the time. But I swear to God, when we get in that fucking car and start shooting motherfuckers, it makes it all right. I mean, it's so exhilarating doing it. I can't even, I can't even begin to tell y'all how exciting it is for me. It's really brought some purpose to my fucking life. I really needed it. I've been in a point in my life where I've really needed some excitement like that, and I fucking found it. Being the head of this fucking all-black gang... How were you able to convince these black men to let you be the leader? I point a fucking gun at their head and say, Motherfucker, I'm going to fucking shoot your goddamn head if you don't join the gang. And sometimes I fucking shoot them. Sometimes they don't join the gang. And I have to fucking shoot them. I don't like doing it, but I do it. I shot 10 people yesterday. I don't like doing it, but I do it. I shot 10 fucking people yesterday. I couldn't go to sleep last night. Seriously, it haunts you. People don't tell you about that. You start murdering everybody, it haunts you. I can't fucking sleep at night now. I couldn't fucking sleep last night. I'm tired as shit right now. But yeah, I think I might get the uh, the gold chain when I get back. I um... So you're literally having trouble sleeping at night from the people that you're killing on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Now, have you played, like, the latest Grand Theft Auto game, yeah. like Grand Theft Auto Red 5? Red Man has a very great point, <laughs> that there are Grand Theft Autos that came long after San Andreas. That this is, for those of you that don't know, an old version of the game. Yeah, like 20 Ra years? Barely, rarely available anymore. Uh, it was re-released, and it's like shit and stuff. Well, I didn't fucking know that, Red Man. <laughs> Seriously, I didn't fucking realize that, so I'm sorry. It's a little bit antsy. He hasn't been sleeping well. Yeah. I am antsy as shit right now. Have you been doing anything to try to help you get to sleep after killing people, innocent people on Grand Theft Auto? Uh, uh, no, I haven't. Do you kill a lot of innocent people, or is it mostly just people that had it coming? I think last night I killed 15 uh, <laughs> innocent bystanders <laughs> in the drive-bys. Yeah, I fucking easily killed 15. Did you get a hooker yet in Grand Theft Auto? Yeah, I got three last night. Whoa! What do you do with these hookers in the video game? We're fucking in the back seat. I fucked three fucking whores last night. <laughs> oh, my goodness. In the back seat of my fucking car! Wow. Did you kill them and steal their money afterwards? Yeah, I got them with the knife. <laughs> Whoa. The rare knife killing. Hard to, do, hard to do on Grand Theft Auto. You have I'm to really, like, commit to an angle. 
Yep, I would go right for the heart every time, and I was pretty good at it. Wow. Incredible. I stabbed three of them in the fucking heart last night. Try going to sleep after that. All right, William. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, William got sober, I believe it was, what, six months ago now? That's yeah, been like six months. Wow. Six months. This guy was in shambles. Six nightmarish months. <laughs> And he got uh, he got off the alcohol and became addicted to raisin bread. How much raisin bread have you eaten since last week? Since the last Monday's well, episode? Since my my hemorrhoid issue, I still feel I felt it earlier when I took a shower before this. That's right. We found out last week he has a hemorrhoid problem. I actually couldn't do the raisin bread. I've literally I've started drinking a ton of prune juice. Okay. That shit is so expensive. I said that last week. That a, a bottle is six fucking dollars. So you still have the hemorrhoid? Or you haven't popped it yet? Yeah, I still have the hemorrhoid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still have it. Yeah, there's still a hemorrhoid in my ass. I still have a hemorrhoid in there, Red Man. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about, Red Man? Seriously, I don't know what the fuck. Why would you ask me that in front of all these fucking people? <laughs> wow. You gotta love it. I'm sorry, William. Thank you. Hans, William is your brother in crime. You guys have both been uh, sharing duties cold opening for <laughs> Joe Rogan, one of the biggest touring acts in the world right now. Uh, uh, what's, it like, uh, what's it like, your life with William? William is such a nice older brother. I respect him and I love him to the utmost degree. Uh, it kind of concerns me that you're doing Grand Theft Auto. I just hope that you don't have any real guns because I think that could be a problem. Uh, I actually do have two unregistered pistols in my trunk right now. Oh, wow. Where'd you get the unregistered pistols? I think I told you I was under, the, uh, under a bridge. I found this very nice man and... Bought two fucking pistols. It cost a bunch of money, but I, I need protection now. There was a second there. I, I noticed that my ranch guy over here had a real serious look on his face. He was genuinely concerned. You're such a character that sometimes you can fool these newbies out here, William. You know that. He, yeah, what, do you really think I have a fucking gun in my trunk? You think I have two fucking unregistered weapons in my trunk? I'm a felon. <laughs> I can't have two fucking unregistered guns. I'm a felon. <laughs> what are you a felon? What were you convicted of? I was stealing stuff. Oh, wow. My goodness. What, what did you steal? Oh, there's a wink. We haven't seen one of these. This is a very patented... Uh, we've seen this before. And every time he winks, you might hear a little twinkle. Uh, there it is. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Wow, he's really giving him out. Okay, all right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was William Montgomery, everybody. He did it again. Another unbelievable set. Oh, my goodness, it really is him. Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, it really is the great William Montgomery, everybody. God, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> Beasts of No Nation makes Hotel Rwanda look like cool runnings. Beasts of No Nation makes the last king of Scotland look like Operation Dumbo Drop. Beast of No Nation makes Blood Diamond look like Big Mama's House 2. Do y'all not know what that fucking movie is? That would have been so much better. If the South had had access to blockchain technology, would the war have gone differently? Work with me here. 3D NFTs, but they're slaves. That's the best joke I've come up with in a long time, and it got that fucking... It got that kind of fucking reaction. This was out of my control! That's an impression of my buddy who got caught having sex with a kiosk at Disney World. More like Neil Old. That's all I got. William Montgomery, I absolutely Like Neil love. Young. 
the balls on this man. Like Neil Young. I don't know why that one didn't work out either. Wow, very unorthodox, taking chances that nobody else <laughs> takes. Uh, what the fuck was that movie you were talking Beast about? Beast of No Nation. I believe this is was like a Netflix original film that came out about three or four years ago. It Am did. I correct? Did it you did. randomly see a movie and then assume that everyone also watched that movie at the same time? I saw it this past week. A uh, very, very, very random movie. BC I was thinking no that was going to be a lot more popular. I was seeing people are going to cheer after each one of those. And we are talking about it came out about, what, three years ago? Is that yeah, right? Yeah, three or four years ago. Just, as, just a perfectly random amount of time long ago. And a Netflix movie. It didn't even come out in the theaters, just Netflix? Yeah, Red Bin, you dumbass. Yeah, <laughs> that's the fucking... I'm not the one that said it. Shut up, dude. Don't start this off like this To already. do one beast of no nation joke is an incredible uh, accomplishment. To do three of them back to back to back like that. Yeah, I was thinking after the first one it was going to be uproarious laughter. When it was not, I was a little horrified because I had two more. God, I was like, holy shit, there's two more of these fucking jokes. These idiots aren't laughing at this shit. And what makes you, when you're making a set list, like, what do you look for? How does that end up at the tippity top? Like, that Neil Young, Neil Old joke at the beginning <laughs> seemed like it could have maybe done some extreme impact. But well, it, it sounds like I made a mistake tonight. <laughs> I apologize. I made a pretty bad mistake with the order of my jokes tonight. I'm sorry for that. Oh, when you put it like that, it's just priceless. You, you make a lot that. of mistakes in your life, I've noticed. Red band. What the this fuck a, does that mean, you dumbass? This is a weird running joke that they try What to does have. that mean, you dumbass? I mean, every week you it's make okay. a mistake. You ever think, like, stop doing that? It's Shut okay. the fuck up. I'm not making fucking mistakes every week. Why are you saying that? I have a lot of pressure on myself right now. I don't need this shit talk from you. Well, I'm putting William. a bunch of pressure on myself right now, and then you have to fuck it up. William, ignore him. What, what's the extra pressure that you put on yourself this week? Uh, it was extra pressure to beat San Andreas. I beat it yesterday. Wow. After 42 hours of gameplay. Did you really? Wow. 42 hours of gameplay. Yeah. I was taking over Las Vegas. Wow. It was so exciting. I was chopping off people's fucking heads. I was working out with my character. I got him so buff. He was so strong. He had tattoos all over the place. He was hardcore. We did talk about this. He literally goes to the gym with his Grand Theft Auto character and does not go to the gym in real life. That's correct. That's correct. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that in your fantasy life you would do the boring uh, work of working out? I don't know. It's so much easier on that game. I can literally, when he's doing the, uh, you know the dumbbells. You, did, you know that if you did that in real life, you would feel better? <laughs> do you think so? <laughs> do you think so? How often do you work out, William? Ever? I don't ever. I started doing it a little bit some months ago, and then I, uh, I stopped. I got addicted to gaming. I started... I started, oh man, it has been a slippery slope. I just started playing these fucking video games on my PS4, and now I pretty much can't fucking stop. What, what game's next? Halo 4? Halo 4? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Thank Halo you. 4? Thank you. Will. God, you sound like a dumbass. I'm on your side in this one. Asking me dumbass shit like the Halo 4? Halo 4? <laughs> What are you gonna play next? What do you think's next on your uh, on your? Um... I just started playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City earlier, so I will be playing that all night tonight, Whoa. all day tomorrow, all day the next day, probably all day the next day. What do you do? You like eat and stuff? Do you smoke while playing games? Like what? What's it? What else are you doing while playing these games? I eat. I smoke. You I smoke live my life. You smoke cigarettes while gaming. I do. I have to press pause and walk outside, and then, oh. yeah, pretty normal stuff. Have you ever played online with other people, or do you just play the story mode of these games? I just play story mode. Oh, my goodness. I like that. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's exciting. It has brought some excitement into my fucking life. I'm trying to have some fun. Do you fun. ever try to just go online and play online? And no, play he's playing games that don't have online shit because they're so old. He's not playing Grand Theft Auto V. He's playing, like, literally, like... 20-year-old like games. 20 year old games. <laughs> <laughs> She's playing like 20-year-old games. 
God, you sound like such an idiot. He's playing 20 year old games. He can't play online. What happened to your hemorrhoid? Did it pop? All right. No one cares about that. It didn't. Did it's it? It's still in my butthole, but it's better. Really? It's not as inflamed. Your yeah, hemorrhoid's yeah. better? It's much better. How much raisin bread did you eat this week? I have done, I've done, I'm doing prune juice now. Oh, okay. How much prune juice like did you drink? Like three big bottles. Three big bottles? Three really big bottles. I just drink the shit out of it. I'm shitting all over the place. My shit looks like prune juice now. It splashes up all over the fucking place. My bathroom has shit all in it. William. I'm losing video games. There's shit all in my bathroom. I want to jump off the fucking ledge. What ledge? The ledge of my my apartment (laughs) where I go smoke. I think about jumping off it some. Stand back I'm just there. kidding. I don't know why I just said that. And nobody's laughing, so that makes it even weirder. Yeah, it, made, it did. It, <laughs> it, it did get weird there. It made second. it even weirder. It got a little weird there. Uh, I love it. <laughs> William, um, so you, what else is uh, going on in life uh, that we don't haven't talked about yet? Is there anything? Uh, mm. You've been opening for Joe Rogan. There's been a lot of, you've been on a lot of big shows here in Austin, a lot of the biggest shows. It's been fun. I'm trying to learn my jokes without having to read them off this piece of paper. And for those Rogan shows, he's like, okay, I like you. You're doing good, but you have to quit using your notebook. Joe and my- has been pretty tough on you about the uh, staring at the notebook. God, a yeah. A lot of comedians yeah. like look at, uh, you know, not a lot, not even a lot. Like a small percentage <laughs> of comedians bring notes. And sometimes when you're working out on a set, you'll glance at the notes. William tends to, uh, eight minutes into most sets, pull out his notes and just read them like that. Yeah. And sort of just yeah, my the fucking mind goes there. blank after, yeah, normally like eight minutes, and I go into full-fledged fucking panic attack yeah. mode up here. Yeah. And I have to bring it up. I literally start panicking so bad. His comedy Inside, idol is Janine Garofalo. What? <laughs> Nobody knows what the fuck Yeah, what? I know. There's some alt... No. All right. Deez is requesting the NFT joke. Did you do it? Do Did you NF- like it? Will you do it again? Did you like it? Do you have it? I'm is pull it out paper. somewhere? Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, no, this one's really good. I don't know why everyone didn't laugh at it. If the South had had access to blockchain technology, would the war have gone differently? Work with me here. 3D NFTs, but they're slaves. See, nobody's laughing. I don't you're looking that. at me yeah. weird, and you're African American. I feel you like you were. Oh, He's damn. He, oh, no. it. he requested it, so it can't be. It technically can't be racist if he requested it. I just got it. set up. I didn't even see it coming. I thought you really liked that joke. You just set my ass up. Oh, God. William, we absolutely <laughs> love you. We did it again. That's another episode of Kill Tony. Watch the William Montgomery show, everybody. William Montgomery. Live to close the show. It's really him. Come on, people, make some noise. David Lucas was just uh, selling Jared and Nathan ecstasy in the green room. I think y'all should know. I saw a dog poop. Also, I'd like to give it up for my sisters in the front row. They finally made it tonight. Beasts of no nation makes apocalypse now look like Ernest goes to camp. Things are looking up. They recently filmed an episode of Farmville in my butthole. (laughs) Hello, my name is William Montgomery, and my adverbs are always and diligently. And if you have to know, my prepositional phrases are in addition to and on top of. (laughs) This next joke is dedicated to you, Red Band. Uh... I just saw where they're using Viagra to treat Alzheimer's patients. It doesn't do anything to cure the Alzheimer's disease, but it does keep them from wandering around because all they do is sit around and stare at their dicks. (laughs) 
I was a mouthful and I stumbled on it. Now you're making fucking dumb noises after it, Red Band. I don't know. The other day I was watching Nick Jr. Did y'all know his dad is Nickelodeon? <laughs> all right, that's all I have. Thank you. William Montgomery. Another brand new minute and some change on that one. A little minute 20, 25. Right in there. You did it again, William. Another very powerful set. Your charisma. I loved it. You called out David Lucas and Jared Nathan. You acknowledged the room. Your red-headed sisters here, as I call them, trans gingers. <laughs> uh, no, it is so nice y'all finally came. I mean, it's been, what, six years? Uh, it's been like six years since we last saw one another, so it's... The little red machines... <laughs> Wilma Montgomery is here, everyone. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't believe it. It's been like six years since we last hung out, so. At least six. What was it like growing up with your sisters? What did you used to do when you were a little kid? Uh, just normal stuff, just amongst sisters. Uh, a lot of makeup, a lot of nails, a lot of putting on clothing that my mom thought was strange. It was a lot of her bras. It was a lot of her panties. It was these really nice slips she would put under her dresses. Those always felt really good against my skin. Uh, William, uh, so how's life been? You look thinner than ever. I think you're doing it, dude. It's really incredible. He quit drinking yeah, a few months ago. It's been, what, like six months? I've been doing a bunch of... Yeah, I haven't been drinking, and also, I don't know if y'all do this, but I've been binging and purging. I've really been able to get the weight off just eating a whole pizza or two and then just fucking getting on my hands and knees in front of the fucking toilet and fucking vomiting everywhere. It's splashing all up on the fucking wow. toilet bowl. Wow. Wow. <laughs> You've been vomiting a lot, huh? Yeah, and I had to stop playing uh, Grand Theft Auto. I was able to beat San Andreas, which was very exciting, but I injured my right arm somehow. My forearm. I think it was from playing too much. I immediately thought I had bone cancer or something, but I... It's probably I carpal tunnel. Like, carpal tunnel. Huh? What, Red Band? It's probably carpal tunnel. What, Red Band? From Shut jacking up, off dude. guys. I fucking told you last time, don't mouth. talk during my shit up here. Yeah, no, I, just, I fucking I, told I, I, you I already, last I week. Did. I'm doing it right now. Yeah, no shit you are. You're really fucking this up for me, Red oh, Band. Oh, I, I am? I fucking told you last I week. I am? Yeah, I fucking told you last week. Yeah. Aww. Shut up. Why'd you just fucking do that, dude? <laughs> Aww. William gets really mad at stuff that Red Band does uh, every week on this show, it seems. Because me and his girlfriend make out all the time. Girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. You know all about it. Me and, me, and, me, and, me and Erica fucking make out all okay, the time. Okay, Red Band. Yeah, Let's get okay. back to William here. Uh, I swear to God, I will get the fucking guns out of my trunk, Red Band. Oh, you he will? does have guns in his I trunk. I have two fucking guns right now! I love looking. I have hollow point bullets in those guns. I have hollow points now. This is my favorite part is looking out at the people that have never been here before. <laughs> at this part, specifically when he starts talking about the guns. It's always fun to see the one or two new people. In the they are, they are them. so heavy in your hand. When you have both of them out, just pointing both of them at somebody. They are so heavy. I love, yeah, just getting them both out and just pointing them at people, just feeling how heavy that fucking gun is. You have multiple guns in your trunk right now. Uh, what types of guns are they? Uh, two Sig Sours. Oh, wow. Damn, look at you, <laughs> dude. Isn't that a gun? Yeah. I think that's a gun. Yeah. Yeah, I got two six hours, so. Hell yeah. Call them Sour Patch Kids back <laughs> in the day. Uh, and how often do you fire these guns? Oh, shit. Every single fucking night off of my little porch. Wow. You <laughs> just ever... into the cul-de-sac that I'm fucking facing. Just Does always anybody trying... ever call the police on you? Are the neighbors ever concerned? Like... No, I'm doing it really late at night. Oh, I'm doing okay. it like 3 in the morning. Nobody's yeah, up. Yeah, people never call the police when they hear gunshots at 3 a.m. You're right. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Yeah, no, he's called the cops. I mean, I've done it for, I don't know, two weeks now. Where are we at with the raisin bread addiction, William? 
You, we found out that uh, when you quit drinking six months ago, you ended up uh, eating a lot of raisin bread. How much raisin bread have you eaten in the past week? I have a uh, a bit of a confession oh. to make. Ooh. Uh, I have never liked fucking raisin bread. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know why I ever fucking brought up that I liked raisin bread. I hate this shit. I hate it. What? For months you told us that you Yeah, for months I was lying to everybody. Wow. For months I was lying to fucking everybody, and I loved it. How much did you love it? It was very... How much did I love it? How much did you love lying about raisin bread to these people that love you? I mean, why would you lie to these people? I fucking loved it. <laughs> William. Lying to everybody. It was a fucking rush. Just that, knowing I had those guns out in the trunk, it was the ultimate rush up here. William, Just thinking no. I'm lying to all these fucking people. I have fucking guns in my trunk. I just got hollow point bullets. You did. Where did you get hollow point bullets Cop from? Cop killers. Huh? Just, to, just ignore Red Band, William. Where'd you get hollow point uh, bullets from? At a Walmart. Oh, wow. I didn't realize those were for sale there. And a I don't Walmart know if you know this, out but in, out I go a... to Walmart a lot, and I uh, steal stuff just for the pat-downs I learned tonight. <laughs> just so that another man will pat my crotch and butt-butt. <laughs> I call it a butt-butt now. Your um, butt-butt. That's sweet. Yeah. To uh, say. William, the one thing that I'm really interested in, because a lot's been moving fast out here in Austin. Uh, you have a lot of, you've been opening for Rogan. You've been doing sold out shows almost every night of the week. Uh, what are you looking forward to? What's like a, something in this upcoming year, 2022? You have any goals or anything? Like I would that? like to own some sort of parcel of land, build a tree house. And just fucking sit up there. I have a bench up there. Just fucking sit up there every night what and shoot you? my fucking guns off the fucking porch of that fucking tree. I'm going to fucking do it! <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Uh, <laughs> you're the best, William. Dylan, uh, what do you think about William? You've gotten to watch him. Uh, we've all worked together for years. Oh, man. yeah. Well, I've known William for a long time. William, you just went viral last week. Yeah. Yep. I don't, I don't know if I would, I would say I, 500 views on my Aunt Mary's YouTube is that's pretty good. viral, but it might be. <laughs> what do you like about those guns, William? Again, I think it's the weight. Just holding two things out in front of me, they're fucking... Just the weight of them. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> perhaps the most Texas ending to a show humanly possible. Just not really funny at all. Just some good old talk about how heavy guns are. You know what I mean? How loud can this place get for the great William Thank Montgomery, you. everybody? Your final comedian of the night, everybody. Make some noise for William Munch. Come around. Uh, first and foremost, I'm excited to announce Maximus and I have been speaking online, and he's staying with me tonight. So it's weird to see his ass for the first time up here. Um, he told me he was a physical therapist. He told me he could help soothe my back pain. Uh, then he told me to touch my toes. The rest is history. I wish I'd beaten the shit out of him. I was a minor. Uh, I'm going to do a few quick jokes now. Uh... If I find out my child likes Home Alone 2 better than Home Alone 1, I'm going to leave their ass at home while, I'll tra while I travel to France. Home Alone 2 is so bad, they had to make six more to make up for it. <laughs> Home Alone 2 is so bad, I voted for Donald Trump so he would get out of acting. <laughs> oh, you have a sex swing? Big deal. Try building a sex zip line in your backyard and then talk to me. 
University of Pennsylvania swimmer who was on the men's swim team three years ago now identifies as a female and is on the women's swim team. Yeah, apparently she's breaking all the women's records, including freestyle, backstroke, and dick size. (laughs) Okay, that's all I got. The ultimate professional, William Montgomery, coming in. Another brand new minute. I can already tell that sex swing zipline thing is going to be a permanent part of the act. I think it does. <laughs> now, let me ask you this, because I come from the school of thought that Home Alone 2 actually competes with Home Alone yeah, 1. Yeah, it I was think it's, better. I think it always surprises everybody how good it is. What do you mean 100%? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's a f- no, William, this is sort of a fact. We've talked about this years ago. I saw Home Alone 2, and it stands up super strong. Now, Home Alone 1, granted, top... I mean, I think I got the first two Home Alones as top three, my favorite Christmas movies up there, with National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That's my big three. And I think two might be ahead of one, but I think I'd give one the edge just because of uh, creating yeah, the, it's the, first, the legacy. The yeah. only thing I don't like about Home Alone 2 is the creepy, mentally ill bird lady. Yeah. <laughs> And Gremlins 2 is better than Gremlins. Well, no one's really talking about that right now. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Red Bear. <laughs> That's shut one of my favorite up. holiday movies. Gremlins 2 is better than Gremlins 2. <laughs> like, Home Alone 1's better. I all like... right, all right, Red Bear. You've been That's fucking enough. the show up this whole fucking night. No, I've been no. watching you do it. Oh, oh yeah? Red Bear. Red Bear. The whole fucking night you've screwed it up. <laughs> Maybe if your girlfriend wouldn't sign ass. up. Right. What did you just fucking say? All right, nothing. He said nothing. Did you watch Home Alone 2 this week? We tend to have found uh, that, uh, that if you watch a movie in your spare time, it ends up being a massive part of your set that week. Yes, I watched it uh, all day on Saturday. All day? Did you watch all it on, day on Saturday. actual That's television I... with commercials? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I do it. I uh, record a movie on the network uh, television, and then I watch it all day long, yes, including commercials. Now, in this one, they were the sticky bandits. Before, in Home Alone 1, they're the wet bandits. And, um... <laughs> you know what's weird about this whole story, by the way, is I just tweeted how the last time I did edibles, I was watching Home Alone 2, and it was playing all into- the whole entire day. What are you talking about? Like, okay. Did you, ju- you, you just reading my tweets, man? Is that Shut what you're doing? Shut the do- fuck up. Is, that, is that what you're doing? Red band. Don't fucking accuse me of that up here right now in front of all these fucking people. You okay, idiot. I mean, what are you fucking talking he, he about? He talked about watching Home Alone two, and it was on, it was on repeat the all day long right. while I was fucked up. Right, I, I posted it two days ago, William. I'm right. stealing your shit, dumbass. Yeah, you caught yes. me. You wow. fucking caught me. I've been reading your shit and trying to make jokes out of it. Well, you busted me, Red Band. Good. I thought this idiot isn't doing it right. I'm going to steal his shit and start doing it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and that's what I fucking did here tonight. And look how well it went. Wow. It really did. No, that was a great set. It really did go good for you. Uh, William, what's been going on in your normal life? That's always a very compelling story. There's always new twists and turns. You're over <laughs> six months sober now. You're over raisin bread. Turns out you were lying to us for months. You don't even like raisin I bread. I was. I don't like that shit at all. It's fucking gross. You try to make it better with some fucking melted butter on top. It makes it fucking sloppy. I hate that shit. What do it's you love, gross. William? What, br- what brings you the most joy? Oh, man. I mean, lately it's been prune juice because I literally have been stopped up. The fucking hemorrhoid came back the other night. I had my fucking <laughs> fingers. All right, all right. How much, how much prune juice have you been drinking exactly? I don't know. Hey, it's one of the jugs that's like... Yeah. How long does it take? This stall probably I'm d- doing two or three a week. Oh, Wow. I just sit by the fucking fridge in the morning time when I wake up and just chug out of that fucking bottle, just holding the gun. I actually got a holster recently for one of my guns. For your unlicensed weapon. Yeah, just one hand, the prune juice, the other hand, just sort of touching my gun, just feeling it has been so cool. (laughs) Have you been firing this new unlicensed weapon that you uh, illegally purchased? Yeah, go to the uh, storm drains and just shoot them down in the storm drains. Wow, that's an interesting approach. Yeah, it's like the safest thing you can do probably. Yeah, just go to the storm drains and just fucking unload a clip or two down into the fucking... 
storm drain. People catch me doing it sometimes, and I have to fucking just yell at them, just, what the fuck are you doing watching me? <laughs> and then they run off, and then I fucking, fucking chase them with my gun out. Wow. This is very interesting. <laughs> what just part of not town? giving a what shit part? anymore, just fucking chasing them around. <laughs> What part of uh, town do you do this in? Can you name a street here in Austin that you've been shooting into the storm drains? It's by the uh, Barton Springs Mall. I do it up at the mall. Oh, I actually think I heard about this the other day. I yeah, I think I was actually on the news the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I made it on the news for fucking running after somebody with my fucking new gun. That was a pretty good idea, Red Man. I think that really fucking helped out with what was just going on there. Good. I'm glad I could help Why you. Why would you have done that? It seems like I help you a lot. You do help me a lot, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even fucking know, Red Man. No, I know. Ooh, tell us. You tell don't me. even fucking know, oh, Red Man. Shit. We've seen this before. He gets passionate sometimes. I'm stealing your jokes, Red Man! And I'm not going to stop! And you sure as shit aren't stopping me. You're not going to stop me. What are, what are you going to do if he tries to stop you? I would go over to his fucking house with he and Janice in there and just start shooting the place up. <laughs> <laughs> just kick the fucking front door in and get my pistol out of its holster and just start shooting at the walls. Screaming, where are you, red man? Wow. And what would you do? What would you do if you heard this happening? Uh, I would tell Erica to run out the back door, his girlfriend, immediately. Don't let, let him see her. Uh, and then I would take the fuck Janice. What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? What are you insinuating? Well, I with mean, that? your girlfriend would be in my room and she would hear the gunshots, and I, I'd be like, oh my God, oh, that's. Oh, Red Man <laughs> saying that he's fucking your girl. And, and yeah, I, why do you have to fucking like, bring that up? And I was like, Janice. We're joking this. around up here and you bring that shit up. God, you messed that up. I'm like, Janice, get the dildo out of All Erica. Right, right, right. <laughs> really, it's... Really, it's... <laughs> too much. Yeah, it's almost, it's almost Christmas now, and you're hitting me okay, with this. Okay, Red Band, now yeah. you're just hitting buttons God. while the rest of the show's happening. I mean, God damn it, Red Band, stop. I'm on your side tonight, William. Thank you. Yeah, I'm with you. Thank you. I love it. What are your plans for Christmas? What are you doing? Driving to Memphis tomorrow. What are you going to be sitting in front of the chimney waiting to shoot Santa Claus in the face? No, my sweet papa still puts out the presents every Christmas morning, so I am looking forward to what St. Nicholas brings me on... Oh, you're going back home? Going back home, driving oh, tomorrow. Very cool. Are you going to leave Santa some cookies and prune juice? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> yeah, I might. <laughs> well, William, we love you. Tell your parents that we said hello. David, yeah, anything well. else for uh, William? Right, that's it, man. Your William, brother? my boy, man, he looking great. Quit yep. drinking, getting way smaller, dog. And you got... Yep. Yeah. Nice shit, William David. Montgomery's Good doing shit. it, folks. He's a machine. A big red one. Follow him at on everything, of course. Listen to his new podcast, The William Montgomery Show. Um, William Montgomery. Uh, William Montgomery, unfortunately, we do believe, and he's getting tested yet again tomorrow. We do believe William got the Omnicron, everyone. So there you go. So now we know. Raisin bread and shooting illegal guns are not natural vaccines for the Omnicron. This is the one and only William Montgomery, everybody. Here he is. You know him. You love him. Been writing a new minute every week for years. Austin's own William Montgomery. I, uh, I actually got raped at the Comedy House in San Antonio two weeks ago, so... Any of these comedians ever hit on you? Cause no, you're, you're absolutely not. Actually, I own the Comedy House in San Antonio, Texas, so a lot of... They're like my brothers. Okay. Wow. Yeah. What exactly do you mean by comedy it's house? It's not a club. It's a house full of comedians. 
They all live together. Oh, these are the guys that fucking bang you I know, out. They're like, oh. Oh. Ah, That's no. it. Beware of that fucking place. <laughs> I've been reading a bunch of social media posts with people saying their New Year's resolution is to focus on my own personal needs or my New Year's resolution is to cherish my mental health. Whoa, don't pull a muscle there. Sounds really hard. <laughs> Some people are going to try to exercise more or spend more time with their family, but your New Year's resolution is to be a little more selfish. <laughs> uh, actually, my New Year's resolution is to stop murdering so many people. <laughs> Elizabeth Holmes, who y'all better fucking know or this joke isn't going to work. Elizabeth Holmes, the woman who had the fake blood testing company and who dressed in all black to look like Steve Jobs, just got convicted of securities fraud. I can hear her now when the jury announced it, its verdict. Oh, shit. I mean, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, that's all I have. Very, Luckily, y'all kind good. of knew who that was. The great William Montgomery. They rock solid Elizabeth Holmes joke. For those of you that do know, for those of you that don't know, that is an absolute must-watch documentary. It has a weird name. You remember that name of it? Uh, the, I can't remember the, the name. I watched it. No, not it. the founder. It's a what's that called? What is it? Yeah, that's the name of the company. But what's the name of the documentary? The inventor. Thank you. Look at that. There's a fucking. That was oh, Erica. Yeah, go. we watched it at my parents' house uh, over Christmas with my sweet father, Larry. An absolute must-watch documentary. That shit's fucking crazy, huh? Yeah, really crazy. Did you have fun with Larry in uh, Tennessee? I did. We finished a 1,000-piece puzzle and a 500-piece puzzle. Wow. Wow. So a lot of puzzling. Yeah, it was exciting. Did, well, you, did well. you take your unlicensed gun with you? Yeah, it was down there. I kept it in the trunk the whole fucking time, but I swear to God, I wanted to start fucking shooting people. <laughs> just driving around, putting gas in my car, just seeing fucking people standing on the side of the road just thinking, man, I wish I could fucking shoot that guy right now. Wow. It's really turning into a problem. Did I'm not fucking kidding. I really just fantasize about shooting those people on the side of the road. I can't fucking stop. I'll yeah, this isn't a joke. I'll invite you to some meetings. Do what? I'll invite you to some meetings. Go to some meetings? No, he's saying that you can join the Taliban. Would you all accept me? Probably, yeah. William, that would be cool. That'd be William, like a movie. tell us more about some of the uh, wholesome <laughs> things that you did while back with your family. This is hilarious. You guys really did those puzzles, I could tell, because no one would make that up. Yeah, I really did the puzzles. The 1,000-piece was significantly harder than the 500-piece. What piece. was the 1,000-piece a puzzle of? Uh, just like Christmas scenes, it was... It was significantly more difficult than that 500 piece. I had no idea it would be that much more difficult. Yeah. But yeah, just the designs. It had 500 more fucking pieces. It was would so you say, hard. Would you say it's like two, three times more harder? Or I'd say probably two times. And also Red Band, oh I God. want to kind of bury the hatchet. Here, shake my hand. Oh, wow. He's burying the hatchet ah! with Red <laughs> I fucking buzzered him! <laughs> I buzzered your dumb ass! You really thought I was trying to bury the fucking hatchet? And the comedy gods are with us. He literally broke the chair when he flinched. He got red banned. <laughs> He got red banned to f fucking. He got red banned to flinch his hip so hard that he broke the chair sideways off of its own track. That scared the fuck out of me, dude. <laughs> like, I've been like, planning like, I, this fucking thing for the past three weeks, you bitch. And I fucking got you. I knew I was gonna get you. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking pass out. That's so funny. 
and that's oh a, and that's like a classic hand buzzer. Like that's the one that you get for like a, a dollar. <laughs> and you took all the bait. You put your fucking palm right into it. Like you're signing a fucking Spotify deal. <laughs> Just put it there. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. You fucking did it, dude. Holy yeah. shit. Now, William, I sort of have a surprise for you. I didn't warn you about this, but when you were home visiting your family, uh, you know, hanging out with everyone, I was out on the streets here. I stayed home in my home of beautiful Austin, Texas for the holidays. <laughs> And I had some fun. I was out and about, and I ran into someone who strangely wasn't at your family gathering, but I met a long-lost who he claims, and I believe him, to be a brother of yours. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Here he is. Trey Montgomery, everybody. Trey. Hey, William. It's me, your brother. I'm actually your son. Oh, wow. Look at this. You have a son, William. Trey, it's Jameis. He left me in a fucking bathroom in an Exxon. In You're not Jameis. You're Jameis? Share the microphone with him, William. Because I miss you. Okay. Here, let's get him his own microphone. William, you're not really good at the old man on the street <laughs> style. Tony. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Hey, uh, can you imagine how disappointed an autistic slave was when he found out there was no trains at the Underground Railroad? All right, don't do your own jokes. We didn't talk about this. Give him that microphone back. You take this one. Take that. Don't stretch it out too far. Uh, Dad, I have missed Face you. Face the audience, you son of a bitch. This is my father. I've Th missed you too. This is Let's failing. Let's give it up for DJ Augustine, y'all. This is failing miserably. <laughs> DJ Augustine? Yeah, he played for Texas, and he was... I'm sorry, I told you to say DJ Augustine. You it told obviously me to say didn't that. work out. Okay, I'm sorry, dude. It's not okay. Okay, William, I'm sorry. William, do you remember leaving your son in an Exxon bathroom at some point? It was point? on North Danny Thomas Way in Memphis, and I've had a fucking nightmare getting here. <laughs> I had to fly. How long uh, did it take you to get here? It took me three hours and 47 minutes. There was a layover in Houston. God, I hate that. Wow. There was a nice woman that brought me here, wow. but I'm 99% cool. sure she's going to ditch me for a fucking t-ball coach. Right. Uh, that really ja happened. James, that actually happened to James, me. Jameis, let's see how far the apple falls from the tree here. Do you have any illegal weapons? Uh, on I my... have a, a fucking meat cleaver. You do? What I do you do with... I've been fucking walking around, waiting to fucking use it here and. Good. Austin, Texas. Good. It has oh, been a nightmare. Look, looks they like, have been asking me for money. Like, <laughs> we need to hit the streets after this. We're going to. <laughs> you can fucking hit some people with the cleaver. I can bring my gun out. Yeah, what kind of gun you got? Uh, six hour. Father and son reunited here. Why don't you shake your father's hand? <laughs> it's I so know, stupid. right? I love you, Dan. It hurts more than I you love think you it too. Would. It's so nice to see you. All right. This is a wild fucking episode. <laughs> Proof that we are indeed a live podcast. How about one more time for uh, Janice Montgomery, a.k.a. Trey Campbell, everybody. Thank you, Trey. Thank you. Thank you. How about one more time for the great William Montgomery, huh?